Hello and welcome to Ray K Q&A, the show where Ray Kurzweil answers questions about the future. This week's question, should we trust robots to kill? Well, the issue is actually coming up now as we have these robotic cars and we have to program in morality. So the car is headed for your daughter, but the only way it can avoid that would be to plow into five children. And so I mean, I don't have to analyze all these situations, but you can imagine many decisions that humans actually make all the time where you're making a split second decision that has grave moral implications. And there, there are a lot of situations that have been described. You need to stop a bus that's going to careen off a mountain, you know, killing 50 children. But to do that, you've got to actually drop this barrel, which will stop the bus, but it will kill a child under it. And a lot of people say, no, thou, thou shalt not kill. And that's an absolute. I think that's ridiculous because if you had a person that's about to blow up a building or a city, it's absolutely moral to kill that person to stop that evil act. We have already machines like autonomous cars that, well, this has not happened yet, and there's been nobody who's lost their life to an autonomous car. It will happen, and they and they nonetheless have to be ready with programming to make decisions that are moral decisions. And you know, humans uh, kill people all the time with their driving 1.2 million a year. As most rules, the first attempt at AI ethics, it's actually not bad for a first pass. It might be that we can derive everything from those rules, just as you can derive a lot from, say, the Ten Commandments. And, although I already indicated, I think one of them is wrong, which is thou shalt not kill as an absolute commandment, you know, can't be true. Unless you, although there's actually a way you can derive from that, which is to say, if through an act of omission, you allow someone to die who you could have saved, that's equivalent to killing them. So if through your act of omission, you fail to kill the person that's about to blow up a building, you're allowing all those people to die. And so it's the lesser of two evils. So in other car liars, you have to accept that sometimes you have to actually do something which is the lesser of two evils, which is to say, kill the person who's about to commit this act. So it is possible we could derive everything from Asimov's rules. I'm going to think about that more. I mean, I, I mentioned I'm writing The Singularities Nearer, and I'm, I'm going to write about AI ethics, and I haven't done that analysis yet, so I'll let you know. Thanks for watching Ray K Q&A. Stay tuned for a new episode every Thursday. Click here for more videos from Singularity University. Also, don't forget to subscribe.